Welcome everyone. Today we'll be looking at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse The Joker from the Infinite Frontier. The supervillain is known for his vast criminal reputation in the DC Universe. His appearance is due to him falling into a vat of chemicals which gave him his evil clown-like appearance. And as we all know, he's one of Batman's most recognizable and dangerous foes. Now regarding the box, the front looks good. Here's the right side, then the left side. And here's an awesome image of the Joker here at the back. And then here's the top and the bottom. All right, let's get this box open. All right, here's the figure. The Joker has an amazing head sculpt design, and you'll notice right away that this version of the Joker is missing his right eye. The eye is located here in his left hand, and it has a very good sculpt and paint job. As for his green hair, the style of it looks phenomenal. Now there is some green paint blotching on the left side of his head, near the eyebrow but it's minimal and the paint job on the face overall looks great in addition the maniacal wide grin looks excellent and in terms of his outfit you can see that he has the complete tuxedo ensemble it's a three-piece tuxedo that looks fantastic in terms of the sculpt and design you can see the creases and lines in it which give it that realistic look The purple jacket and pants have an excellent paint job, and as we all know, the iconic supervillain is well known for his purple attire. Likewise, the green vest and the black shirt have an excellent paint job. And pinned to his left jacket lapel is a gold colored flower, which he uses to shoot various things. He's sporting some fancy shoes, which have a great sculpt. Then here's a look at the back. And you can see the tailpiece of the tuxedo jacket. Looks good. Here's a look at the accessories. So first, we have the Joker's knife. I really like the weapon's design, and it has a nice size. The small curved section in the blade makes it look awesome. In addition, it's sleek and shiny, which gives it a very cool looking appearance. Overall, it's a very nice looking knife. Then here's the stand. Here's the Joker's trading card. Looks cool. And you can see his bio at the back. Here's a look at the Joker and the DC stand. Here he is with his large knife. Then here's another view of him. And here's the figure in another stance. Here's a look at his articulation. The figure looks up that far. And he looks down that much. Then the head can turn from side to side. And it can also tilt. Very good. The arms can raise up all the way. Full arm rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and a wrist swivel with a hinge. He likely has a diaphragm joint, but his movement is limited. And there's probably a ball joint in the waist area, 
but articulation there is limited also. He moves forward just a little and he bends back that far. So this can be expected as we often see that torso articulation is usually quite limited in figures that have jackets and suits. There's a swivel at the waist. He can do a full split. Then the legs kick out forward all the way. And they move back very far. The knees are double jointed and the lower leg bends back all the way. There's a swivel at the ankle. Then the foot moves up this far. And it moves down this far. Here's an ankle pivot. And this portion of the foot moves up like this. So to conclude, I like everything about this figure. The Joker is one of my favorite villains from the DC Universe. And this is another excellent version of the Joker by McFarlane Toys. His sculpt and design look fantastic. And his knife accessory looks really good. As for the paint job on the figure, it's clean and thorough overall. In regards to the articulation, it's very good. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And please leave a like and subscribe.